Hello and welcome back, everybody. Yes, it's me, Ricardo. I have returned for more Elite Dangerous videos. So, what are we going to be doing today? Well, because I'm currently parked at a rescue ship, I thought I'd ease, ease ourselves into all of this with the Anaconda and do a couple of rescue missions, if you know what I'm saying. Um, Decent money to be done with this. If you kind of know what I'm doing. Which means I'm not making any money, so I don't know what I'm doing. Just like that, eh? Right, so, let's take a look about what we're doing. A couple of things with this rescue ship. There is a mission board here, right? Which is something we've got to have a good think about. Salvage units of wreckage. Salvage escape pods. And these are quite big fi figures. 256,000. You know... Four units here. Look at all this. I mean, get the right amount of items that are floating around inside the space station and you can make quite a bit of money, right? Um, to, you know, for, for whatever. So let's take a look at what we got in regards to outfitting on this ship. So my optional internals, I've got, well, I'm running shields. I know people say, oh, if you don't run shields, you know, you'd be... anyway, I'm running shields. Um, all economy cabin, right, look at all that, all economy cabin, um, I've got Olympic controller here, right, why is that, I don't know, why have I got Olympic controller here, because I could go and pick up items, you see, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, transfer that out, store that, and we're just going to go in, um, nice and easy, full cabins, and just do the missions. And we're going to write down how much money we make just on doing the missions, right? Not going to go in picking anything, but we're just going to have a good old look. Right. All right, then. So, how much money have we got? 216-698-392. Right? That's where we're starting off. Brilliant. We got heat sinks. We're all ready to go. Check our advanced maintenance. Let's get on with things. Launch away. Okay then, right. A good look at the old ship we're on. Standard carrier, rescue carrier, medical frigate. Ryazowski. Right, where are we going? Parkinson's Dock. And I'm playing in my my own private instance of the game. So I'm not in solo, I've got my own private instance. If you want to join in, join in. Let's clear the mass of the carrier. And here we go. So the reason why we're going to be doing it, do a little bit of rescue missions first, right? Get some money uh, and, and some materials and what have you. But then what I'm going to do is we're going to go switch then and then we're going to do some pack hound um, engineering. Because pack hounds, I've been a little bit disappointed with pack hounds. Um, they don't seem to be all that. A ship with pack hounds alone is not going to save you. But there you go. Who knows? Right. 
Right, let's get in. Request our docking. We're going to be in and out, shake it all about. There's all hell breaking loose in there. We're going to roll in, do a mission, and then we're going to do a mission with some temperature limpets. As you can probably hear, it is raining fantastically in Wales, in good old Barry Island, the Welsh Riviera. We're getting hit and knocked by all sorts of things in here. Let's get our bus on the deck. Here we go. And down. We're down. We're down. We're down. We're down. Okay. Jules, you've got some pack hounds. Yeah. Do you know what? I filled this anaconda full of them. They're not switched on. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. I thought, press the button, people would disappear. It's not as simple as that. It would be a nasty surprise for some people, no doubt. But, yeah, pack out. Hmm. You know, I don't think I'm convinced. You know, I, I, I'm not convinced. Oh, thank you very much, JSB. Five pound, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. Right, so... What are we doing? Starport services. We're in. We've docked. We've let a heat sink off. We're okay. Uh, we're not bothering with all the stuff that's floating around outside. We're going pure on passenger lounge. Now, how many passengers can we hold in this thing that I've got? 32, 64, 96. Hundred and two, hundred and twelve, hundred and thirty-two. Well, yeah. Do you know what? There's loads. But hundred and fifty we got in here, right? So we can afford to go for some of the bigger ones. It's all economy. See, we can look around. We can look who's got the firmware because we always want a bit of firmware. Um, people with the biggest money, money talks. Not much big money there. Not much big money there either. There's a 227 one there. We'll pick that cab in. Thank you very much. It's a mission of mercy, but we're being mercenary about it. <laughs> right? Um, people must be saying, oh my God, you've done three videos on this. Well, you know, it's nothing else to do in game, is there really? I mean, Christ, I'm doing power play. Um, how desperate have you got to be to do power play? Does make you wonder. So I'm a good old scan through his 207 there. So we've got about a million-ish. Look at that 19. 170 people we can cram into the ship. I can start looking for things like like data, disrupted wake echoes. Oh, we'll have some of that, Charlie. Specialized firmware, yeah, we'll have some of you too. Mm, more firmware. Got to stick up on the firmware, see? No need for modular terminals. And to be fair... I think we're nearly there. Is there anybody else who I can fit on the ship? No, they say. But I still have a little bit of space. I think. I have no space. Look at this. I am full to the brim with peoples. That's all right, isn't it? I have hit rock bottom on Elite Dangerous. That's it. My son's playing No Man's Sky. I went, mm, No Man's Sky. What's that like now? Right. Okay, then. So. 
Two hundred sixteen million six hundred ninety eight thousand two hundred forty five. Right. Launchy launch. Let's get out of here. And I suppose what it is with these rescue missions is the trade off between picking up materials inside the station and just getting in, getting the people, getting out. Um, and getting back to the ship and repeat what you know is it worth it picking up all those materials um, and I reckon it's a bit of a much of a muchness and by that I mean you know it probably makes absolutely no difference depending on how sort of like die hard you are so here we go Back off to Parkinson Dock. So we've got two weeks now as well before the um, Elite Dangerous Odyssey Alpha hits. And I think a lot of people are going to be thinking, well, you know, what am I going to be doing between now and then? Well, I don't know what I'm going to be doing between now and then, to be perfectly honest. I haven't got a clue. Um... Don't know what is there to do. Go and find myself a nice quiet planet or go and find myself a nice base where I can do, I can land. Anything like that, really. Or just float around and see what happens. Because I thought of going straight off to the Thargoid bases. But you don't know if that's going to feature. Do you? So there's the rescue ship. We've got 150 refugees in the ship. And it would seem that I am on the wrong side of things. Get the gear down. That always helps when landing. Good thing about with shields, you can land however way you want to. Oh, for God's sake. Are we down yet? Are we there yet, Dad? Right, okay. Starport services. So we started off with 216,698. Bearing in mind, I'm not going for the full amount of money. I'll be going for the data. So it's not a true... Sort of like representation of what you can get. But the next one will be. Because you know realistically. You're not always going to go for the money. I suppose. I don't want. Do I want grid resist? Yeah go on. Grid resistors. So that is that. So what are we on now then? I hear you say. Oh, look at that. We barely scratched 800,000. Barely scratched 800,000. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back in. Right. Um... Look at all this. At least cordial with all of them. 
and I'm going to do it again. Yeah, T-Demon, do you know what? You're right, you can make good money on it, but it's more of the amount of trips you do. Um, and what you and what actually defines a session, you know, a, a gaming session. Two hours, three hours, six hours, 12 hours, you know? You can make good money doing this. But I say I'm mining as well, not only for the money, but also for the materials, because it's a fantastic way to get your materials. There it is. Fire all engines. And you've got to ask yourself, how would you have made 42 million if you weren't doing this? That's the big question. Doo -loo -loo. It's the anaconda of doom. Packed with pack hounds. But the front two ports, I've got tiny, tiny little machine guns. At the bottom, I've got a humongous laser. Because who doesn't like humongous lasers, eh? Oh, it's a long way to a cutter. It really is. Remain calm, he says. Yes, we're very calm. We're going in. Heat sinks at the ready. Flashing lights and everything. Right, where are we? Pad 17. get ourselves right down oh we've been hit by something pad loitering i'm not loitering on no one's pads not a choice is it god look at all those materials hanging about there look and us with no collector limpets right here we go let's get let's get this boat on the ground Can't fly today. Starport services. Okay. Passenger lounge. So let's get the most expensive people in. So that was 200. Hundred and sixty, well we'll have them as well then. Hundred and eighty nine. Two six one. One six two. One five five. One fifty, one eight one, there's a nice hundred and forty six. And then we've got a few, you know, little ones like take seven there. And we're full. So we are on 217 million, 300,000, give or take. 
We've gone for most expensive ones. We're launching. And we're boosting out of there without taking the sunroof off. Look at all this stuff we've left there just let, floating around inside. Crazy, isn't it? Right, so onwards and upwards, upwards and onwards, back to Parkinson Dock. I mean, as for rank with the factions, I mean, I'm... I'm a king, an imperial king. Um, you know, I'm... I've got good... I'm an admiral with... the feds. And I've got a half-decent reputation with the alliance, so... Meh. And I've got all the ships. So this makes absolutely no difference to me. Really. Jumpy jump. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let's get ourselves on the floor. Okay. Here we go in. And we're down. Next up. We are on a whole 217,300,000, give or take. We're just going to go for the money now, right? Money, money, baby. So that's 220 odd thousand. Ooh, 223,000. 146 there. Because they'll, they'll be tempted down the route of anything shiny like data that I've been collecting or microweave cooling hoses or scrap or grid resistors or any of those materials they try and sort of like uh, tempt you away with. Like, ooh, ooh, bulk scans. No, we're going for the many. We're going to see how much we can make per run. It's an experiment. Two hundred there, one hundred and sixty-two there, and one hundred and fifty-five there. I think that's it. One more. So with all that done, right? What are we on now? Ooh, look at that! We've made. We were at two hundred and sixteen, weren't we? So we've made just under 3 million per run by purely going for the 
the readies. All right, so that's fair enough. How much can we make doing this, but going for the reputation? The option number three, All right? I'm raising the reputation here because people are talking about reputation in the chat. What can we do? So let's try it on. So we're on 219, let's just say 219 million, right? Give or take. So hope you're all having a fantastic Sunday. You've all had a nice Sunday dinner. It's been Mother's Day uh, over here in the UK. I know it's different different countries around the world when Mother's Day is. I know my friends in America have it on a different time to us. So it's, um, I think, what, you're having Mother's Day? And it's like later in May or something like that throughout the year. But in the UK, it's been Mother's Day today. And I hope you've all had a decent time I mean, it's still raining here, mind, so. Right, let's clear the mass lock. And you know what, I think, T Demon, you're right there. These rescue missions. They're a nice change. It's a break from the norm. I mean, there's always something going down in the Elite Dangerous Galaxy. There's always some, the Thargoids have been at it or somebody else has been at it. Right? There's always something going on. But, um... Unless something like this comes up, you tend not to get involved. But there's no community goal, from what I can see, attached to this. It's just a call out to all pilots. You know? So there's no swanky FDL to go and get or enhanced missile rack or anything like that. You know? None of that going on. Yeah, and I like it. You as always welcome. Well, thank you very much for that. I am your ally. I'm coming in to make money from rescuing peeps. That's what we're going to do. Peeps to be rescued. So then what we'll do after this is we'll fit a limpet controller in a small cargo bay. And we'll see how much money we can make from messing about inside with all the other stuff which is, which is usually my preferred way of doing things so we want pad 10 there it is glowing trying to dodge all the stuff floating around knocked me back a bit didn't it right we're down passengers right so again we're going to go for the most expensive ones we can find And they're about, you know, in the, they're in the 200s, the most expensive ones. So we're having a good look. Not many 200s now. 
Going there for 150. You know, the, some of these are giving you rep, you know, and all that. Like it's um, so we'll start. We'll start on them now. Who's giving us the most rep? Rep and that one here. We'll have that one. Perhaps some of these down here would be giving us reputation. Lots of little missions. Right, we're full. Time to go, said Florence. And here we go. We're out skis. Quickly and safely, he says. Look at all this stuff I've got to fly around. This is why I pack shields, everybody. We is out. I think, you know, not by specifically doing any reputation missions, you know, your reputation and, and influence with the powers in a particular system that you choose are going to increase anyway, right? I don't think you, you necessarily have to say, well, I'm going to do reputation. You know, you just carry on as normal and it, it'll rise, you know, accordingly if you're here for the duration. So I think it's, um, you know, I don't think you have to do anything. You know special in regards to gaining your reputation really you know it'll come with a little bit of time just some time longer than others there's the pads zoom zoomers Landing gear. And down. So we're going to go for the reputation side of things now, right? So we're currently on 219,180,000. And we're going for the reputation. So that's 10 grand. Another 10 grand. Another 10 grand. Ten grand. So at 40 grand. So, you know, it's, it's all multiples of the 10 grand, isn't it? You know, it's, um, it's as boring as hell. That's what we're doing. I think everyone's done sort of like these missions. They know what they're doing. Everyone's, you know, getting the influence, getting the reputation. You know, everyone should be absolutely sick to the back teeth of this and you think well hmm two or three two or three two two didn't earn very much there at all whatsoever okay 
So, there we are. Um, let's go into the outfitting. Right, uh, what we're going to do now, optional internals, we're going to pop in um, a collector limpet controller and we'll pop that in one of the class fours. Right, so it's only a, a three. I know it's not very good. Um, and then what we, yes, yeah, very good. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to put a small cargo bay in. Um, what have I got? Sixteen transferred to ship. So that's. That's quite minimal what I've got in there, right? So what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to get some limpets. Always handy to have your limpets, right? Always handy for limpets. Um, how many shall I go for? Let's go for five. launch away so what we're going to do now is we're going to fly in we're going to park inside the station fire off the collector limpet and use heat sinks in a responsible manner pick up all the stuff and then come back and see what i've got as opposed to what i can get for any missions that are inside you know asking for escape pods and things like that That's what I'm going to do. So I'll wait till we clear the ship. See how that's going. And jump. Here we are again. Nothing has changed. No repairs being done. I wonder how long these stations are going to be on fire for. That's the big question, isn't it? Element Gaming, thanks very much for the follow. Right, pad two this time. So before we go in, let's get everything sorted out. Now what I've got, got me eat sink. And I need to get my fire groups, my collector limpet sorted out. So where's that then? There it is. So we will go for let me see. Where's my collect Olympic controller? Two, two, two. Right. Okay. Here we go. We're going in. Look at him. Look at this Burke. Stuck on the toast rack. 
saying that, I'm probably going to get stuck myself now. In we go. Gear and um, cargo scoop down. We want pad two. Let's get the collector limpets out on the go. Right. Collector limpets are on the go. There's all the stuff right below us. This should be quite a quick turnaround. Right. Look at them. They're going like I don't know what. Let's fire off a heat sink. More than likely, there's bound to be a community goal to repair the station. So that'll keep everyone going until Odyssey comes out. It's all these materials in and out like. We've got... Quite a bit. of cargo space left as you can see my massive gun on the bottom is poking through my cargo bay door which is rough isn't it do you know what I mean what's all that about let's let another heat sink off and if we look at our window there should be all the stuff flying about that we're going to be capturing. Well, I'm being knocked by massive girders. Big explosions everywhere. Temperature critical, they say. So I've got some more heat sinks, don't worry about it. Onto the next heat sink bank, and I want to keep one. We've gone all frosty. Let's throw another collector out there. And all this, right? You're taking time doing this, and I could have been in with my passengers and out by now. And you've got to think, well, how much money is actually being lost or made? Because it all depends what um, what this lot are doing. There's another limpet. There's more materials there it's picking up, look. Let's load that heat sink, fire that off. And we've only got three more items we can really get rid of. And it's going to let us know as well when our cargo hold is full. And we're getting materials now, crystal shards. fire another one off in a minute and think about landing so our cargo bay is now full which means unless that's a material yeah no space for cargo so let's get ourselves in because we've only got like two limpets in there I don't need the other two limpets, and I could fire them off, but I'm running out of heat sinks, see? So it's time to get in, get our passengers. Nigel, how are you doing? Happy Mother's Day. Um, passenger lounge. 
I'm just going to go for the stuff that I want now. So, Wake Echoes. Grid resistors. Do want microweave cooling hoses. Right, um, let's just go picking up people as we like. We've had all the good stuff out of this. We've got a cargo hold full of stuff. So I'm picking up entire factions now in this. Um... Look at this. We haven't got... Oh, we can get two more. Perhaps one more. And we're full. Okay. So we've got... Four escape pods. Three personal effects. Uh, occupied escape pods. Got four of them. Uh, encrypted correspondence. Black box. As well. And... You know, I probably could see if I could get something else out there. Um, if I was a bit nifty with the old heatsink. Ah, uh, well, yeah, in the States and stuff like that, like, you know, it's different days. Happy Mother's Day over here, you see. All mothers are generally happy. So I'm going to fire a heatsink off here. Right. Fire my collectors off. Fire my last heat sink off. And see what comes back. Right. Nothing might come back. But it's worthwhile just getting those last two tons of um, whatever it is they can get me. Right. As I sort of like meander towards the egress point. So it says collection failed. Well, there you are then. I think I think we're on a hiding for nothing there, chaps. Uh, time to get out of Dodge. We is out. Um, must hand those in. Right, rescue ship, Parkinson Dock. Well, as long as they're happy, everyone's happy. Unless, of course, you know, you've really cocked up and got the wrong thing in that case then, no one's happy. Let's jump. Are we jumping yet? Jump, 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 jump. Now we're jumping. Right. So when we get there, there's two things we can do. Well, three things we can do, obviously. First thing is, get rid of the old whinge in passengers, because they're all toasty. Uh, been running around with the backsides on fire, um, because the station's been blown up. So we're going to get rid of them. And then we're going to go into the mission board to see exactly how much money we can get for offloading all the stuff I've just picked up from inside the cargo bay, right? With inside the, the landing bay of that station.
good old pad one. Here we go. Down, down skis. Right. Let's drop the old passengers off. Get some materials. Get some stuff like that, you know. Let's get rid of all that first. So we'll complete our mission. Uh, yeah, wake echoes. Many, many, many. Many, many, many. Very slim pick in Geoloxy. You know, our reputation's building. So that's that's a good thing. Wake echoes. Grid resistors. Many. Many. More many. Many. Many, many. Uh, and finally, many, many. And loads of many. I think I got everyone. Right. Let's have a look what we got here. So, uh, escape pods. Got four of them. Let's see, missions for escape pods. There's three. Four. We've got that. Done. All right. Um, what else have I got? I got four damaged. Four personal effects. One black box. So you want three black box. Four damaged escape pods. Let's get rid of them. What should we have? Ooh, what should we have? Ooh, grid resistors. Hmm, no, money. Uh, this one, you damage escape. Yeah, what should we have? Ooh, wake echoes. I'm a tart for wake echoes, see? I always am. Let's go for that. Right, what else we got left? Four personal effects. There you go, four personal effects. Done. Uh, and the rest of the stuff I'm just going to have to sell because they're not multiples. I mean, you know, it's one wreckage, one black box, one encrypted correspondence, which you can still get, you know, a bit of money for. So. Exceptional scrambled data. Ooh, I'll have that instead. Right, and then it's over to the... Uh, contact page authority or their search and rescue contact and then hand in the stuff there look P a pittance to what we could have got if we had more and on the commodities market we're going to sell that encrypted correspondence cool hey indeed so I've been running with all my modules turned off. Right? Because missions of mercy. Time to turn it all back on now. For the second part of this stream, because we I've I'm done now with the um 
rescue missions. So what I'm going to do, everything's on. Um, let's get a few limpets. Okay, back and exit. Time to go and pick up Defense of the Galactic Summit from um, I'm the top 50%. 48 million! 48 million credits. Look at that. Where am I going? Serious. Why so serious? Navigation. A galaxy map. Here it is. All the way up there. Oh, I've gone out of it now. Where's Sirius gone? Sirius. That's where we're going to go. Um, I'm going to need to have my fuel scoop back. Just in case. And then retrofit my ship back to what it was meant to be doing. So into outfitting. Oh, the rain go away, do. Rain, rain, rain. Rain, rain, more rain. Right then, here we are. So optional internal modules. We're going to put all our cabins into storage I don't need them oh I'm out of storage space that's embarrassing isn't it um, I think what I'll do I'll just buy a ship and stick them all in there that's the easiest thing but you know it does mean I haven't got me fuel scoop and I'm not having that right so let's go to the galaxy map where's my carrier did that come anywhere near Well, you know where the carrier is to be perfectly fit. Oh, there it is. Lembava. That's where I was. I was over there. And I jumped. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm still going to go to Sirius instead. How far is it? Ah, oh, easy. We'll do that then. And just... Pick up fuel along the way in stations. Hopefully. If not, we'll be calling the fleet carrier in. Oh, I need some Florida sun, Nigel. I tell you what. It's been abysmal here. High winds. Rain. Rain. The dog's been looking at me. Can we go out? No, it's raining. You know. Lost my jump range. Oh dear. That's because I took my Guardian frame shift drive out. Oh dear indeed. 
I'll have to go down to there and pick it up, won't I? It'll take too long to transfer. Yeah, well, Bristol, well, it's only 50 miles away from me, mate. You know, it, it's... Um, let's get down to Lembarva. Let's go, go, go. How many jumps have we got to do? Three. I'm going to get three jumps out of this. I'll be very surprised if we do. Next up, it's another jump. Jump in, jump in, jump in. Well, I guess a lot of people are back in work and out and about doing shopping because um, not many old people on the stream. Normally, we've got about 50 odd people in. And uh, the Bristol and Bath Linux user group. Well, my God. <laughs> Does that come with an honorary pair of sandals? It does, does it? I haven't tried running Elite Dangerous like that. Ah, interesting stuff. The hunt for my new PC continues. Um, and the reason why I say the hunt is that you can't get the components. They're releasing new graphics cards all the time. Wonderful. But, um... You can't do anything with it. Get ourselves over to Goldstein Port. Um, Right, here we are, hammering into the location of last week's community goal. 48 million babies worthwhile picking up. 
Commander Bullet, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you, to see you nice. So what's anybody watching on Netflix and the streaming services then? Because I need something new to watch. I've been starting watching Snowpiercer on Netflix and it's all right. You know, it's just a bit. Oh, look, it's people stuck on a train. Um, you know, it's all right. Then I started watching some other pro. I thought, oh, this looks good. And that was Korean. But it was dubbed. It wasn't dubbed in English. You had to read the subtitles. I thought, oh, I can't be bothered with that. But it looked really good. And then I started watching something else. And that was... I think it was Biohackers. And that started off to look all right. But theoretically, all they had in the first episode was a glowing green mouse. Yes, Commander Bullet, we're all okay here. Basking in full stomachs after a huge Mother's Day dinner. I cooked for my missus on behalf of my children. So they're happy. Today we had turkey. And it was all right. Not really a fan of turkey. Let's get in here. Pad 40. There it is. So I need something new to watch. I've done House of Cards now, and that was great. That kept me going for about a month. So I need to find where the, where the old spirit of Leaps is. Where's that buggered off to? Not be in the serious system, won't it? So, um, right. Outfitting. American gods. Outlander, yeah, they've done that. No, she's done that. Done Outlander. American Gods, I started watching the first couple of episodes of that. Yeah, I, I, there's a new Intel processor coming out as well, end of the month. I quite fancy going for that. For that. I don't know. Uh, right, what am I doing? Where's my stored modules? Um... I need me fuel to, oh God. It can take 22 minutes to get down here. We may have to jump the ship. I don't know. What am I going to do? 
so I got me multi cannons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beam lasers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Lots of stuff is here. I'll have to go to the old spirit of the laps then, won't I? Right then. Um, option internal. Give me a scoop. Um, Bro shop. Nothing experimental here. So we'll just have to go for it uh, and see what we get. And no point getting a fuel scoop put in because I, I've got all that elsewhere. So um, let's stitch that passenger. Sell that, sell that, sell that. And what we left with? Not a lot, but that's okay. We're gonna go to the Sirius system. Mr. Goatman, how are you doing? Right, so we can go there. But I can also do some engineering on my pack out, which is what it's all about. And the person to do all that is going to be... What's her name? Liz Ryder. Now, where's old Liz? From here, not far. 106 light years. So we're going to pop over to Yoruba, over there, and we're going to do some pack old hound engineering. Because I've got these pack hounds on this ship. I don't think they're all at, to be honest with you. They need a bigger, a bigger punch. But now i got a good fuel scoop. Who cares? So it's a bit of a sort of like, a bit of an everything stream today. It's like getting set up for next week. And all of that. Right then. Let's jump, jump, jump. How many jumps we gotta do? Three. Right, okay. Jumping away. So I did some engineering on these pack hounds. I did one with high capacity, then I did one with thermal cascade, uh, and all the rest of it. But it all depends what other people have got as as a loadout and you know what I think might be good to do with them want the biggest punch obviously for having these pack hounds because I'm not going through all this power play again and then the question is today who do I go for next I've done Ashling Deval for the prismatics I've done Lee Yong Ri for the pack hounds so next up what do I get I quite fancy that guy who's got the militarized mining laser quite fancy that Okay, we're moving.
Okay, we're going. Next up. Get a bit of scooping on the go, because free fuel is free fuel. Bit of scanning going on. Iruba. Eribia. Eribia. Eruba. Eribia. 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 I'm going to go with Eurybia for this one. Off to Eurybia then. Brilliant. So demolition is what we're after. Demolition Unlimited or something like that is called. Demolition Unlimited. That's the stuff. That's where we're going. Pirate Lord Crito Scrambler Lasers. Yeah, sounds quite good, doesn't it? See, I quite fancy putting those mining, militarized mining lasers on the cutter. Because that's my mining ship. Or it's a mining ship that I use. Let's face it, it's the mining ship that I use. Because when I go mining, accept no substitute, take the cutter. That's the way I see it. If you're going to go combat, take the Corvette. If you're going to go messing about, take something else. I've got exploring, take the asp. So here we are. Demolition Unlimited. Is it going to be daylight or is it going to be dark? It's going to be dark, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. It might not be. The lights are going to be on. That makes a change. It's this four week sort of embargo as well, isn't it? Before you can, you can swap out uh, and get some more power play items. And I'm totally out of storage space as well. So I'm going to have to do some trimming down or buy some ships and put some stuff in. Demolition Unlimited, everybody. And for a change, and I say for a change, daytime look. And I reckon there's a war coming. And when I land, I'll tell you why. Because in the Galnet articles, there's all, you know, the Empire, the Federation is blaming the Empire for all the hostilities and all the rest of it. So there's going to be a civil war coming. And that's going to lead nicely, I think, into where Odyssey's going to sit. Uh, and then you're going to have all the different factions fighting on these, on these territories and claiming them for yourselves. So it's going to be a bit like Risk, I reckon. Whereas, like, the background simulation is going to play an important part where you're going to be flying around um, or encouraged to fly around land and take over bases and therefore systems for your faction and jurisdiction. What do you all think about that? I think that's what's going to happen. All right, here we are. There it is, look. Can I dock, please? Yes, he said, all the way over there. Is 
This anaconda is handling like a brick. It's a good opportunity to have a good look around, isn't it? You know, without it being so dark. Oh, I'm coming in the wrong way. Yes, Vicar. Do, do, do. Here we go. We're going in. We're going down. Come on. Land. And we're down. Another happy landing. So let's have a quick nose about. We got these things. I do like these things. Some sort of drilling thing. Plasma driller. We've seen them before. You know, all the pads around. Central building. Yeah, bricks. You're not wrong there. Bricks do handle better than that. What have we got over there? Ooh, look at that swanky ship. What is that? It's a cutter. Look at that then. Okay, I'll take a I'll take a look. I got it in the chat after the stream. Um, I was looking at a piece. Normally, I build my own, right? And the past couple of times, um, I haven't. I've bought HP PCs because I I work for them, and they're gaming Phoenix PCs and things like that. Well, the last time I bought a PC, even though I've upgraded this one, was six years ago. So I'm due an upgrade, right? Um, I've changed the graphics cards and added more memory and SSDs and all the rest of it. But there's a company called Gladiator here in the UK and they do a range of machines and there's one AMD and it's the 16 core AMD uh, 5950 with a 3090 graphics card. Now the 3090 graphics card I think is a bit overkill for what I want to do. I, th I could make do with a 3080 quite easy, but you just can't get them because everyone's mining Bitcoin with them. You know? Anyway. Let's have a look. What are we here for? We are here for, dun dun dun, Pacown missiles. Now you can see this one here, high capacity magazine I've got on it, on, on both of these. This one, high capacity magazine, and the experimental effect I've got on it is oversized on that one. Just thought, great, brilliant. Um, On the second one, again, high capacity magazine. Brilliant. What have I got? Um, what's my experimental effect? My experimental effect is drag munitions. So they're effectively drag hounds. And what's this do? Uh, disrupt the engine exhaust flow on the target, temporary preventing engineering power distribution from increasing thrust. Don't really know what good that's going to be. Right, in regards to pack hounds, but hey, whatever. So what else have we got? We got flow control. No problem, double braced. Well, no problem with that either. Um, overload, thermal cascade. That's the next one I'm gonna do. Right, so let's go back. Let's go missiles. Which my next set of pack hounds. We'll go for high capacity magazine. Generate that modification. I'm not a big missiles user. Like a lot of people have been saying here on the stream. It's like, well, yes, I've got them. Thank you. Um, 
Now what exactly am I going to do with them? I haven't got any tin. Robert, thanks for following. So Robert's watching us on Facebook. So we're streaming on Facebook, Twitch, and and the YouTubes. Let's generate a modification then. Right, experimental effect. Let's go thermal cascade for that one then. Did it do it? It did. So what does thermal cascade do? Um, interacts with shields upon detonation, generating significant heat on the target. The more heat, can't fire, can't do anything. Cool. Well, hot. So what's next? Um, back to me missiles. More pack hound. There's rapid fire. But I think with this, typically I think you want... You want more. Sturdy mount means I think you increase damage. But I've always thought more missiles, high capacity magazine, be in the way to go. I am happy for people to argue with me and tell me that I'm wrong. Eating up all my nubium. Right, experimental effect. What should we go for? Then the thermal cascade. Overload munitions. Yes, yeah, have a go at that, shall we? Double braced. Hmm. Don't want flow control. Uh, thermal cascade. Brill. I've got one more little pack hounds left. What do you lot think in the chat? How should I engineer this pack hound module? What do you reckon? Come on, people in the chat. How shall I engineer this pack hound missile? Or missile array, I should say. I can go so far with it, but um, should I go for rapid fire? Should I go for sturdy mount? Should I go for high capacity magazine, which seems to be basically the best way of doing it? You can continue to fire. If you can continue to fire, you still remain relevant in the fight. Whereas going for rapid fire, you're just going to be out of missiles quicker. All right. I reckon anyway. High capacity all the way. Mr. Goatman, I am there with you with that. I think that is the way forward. Right. Experimental effect then. We've got oversized. Scaled up components and reinforced munitions. Housing allows the weapon to pack more of a punch. Well, surely that seems to be one of the best ones to do. I've done everything else. I think we'll try that oversized. There you are. And we're done. Um, let's pop into the outfitting.
Yeah. Oversize, always the way to go. So I've got two oversized now. So they'll pick, pick. They, hopefully they'll pack the punch. And I got some of the other splurious stuff. So, um, have I got any stored modules here? I haven't. Okay. Um, huge beam laser. All the pack hounds, look. All the pack hounds I should ever need. And I haven't necessarily got to keep them on this ship, you know. Um, I'm going to ditch these passenger cabins. I need the space. I haven't got loads and loads of many to um, stick them in another ship just yet. And I've got bloody loads of them. Look at it. Right. Then. What should we do next? I think what we should do is go and find some mischief. There's got to be some mischief going on, and see how these pack hounds, how these pack hounds, um, do their thing. So let's launch navigation. We'll get ourselves over to um, where's the station? A Y referable. Flurble. Goodbye, old Liz Ryder. And um, we'll take a little bounty mission and see what happens. Now, it's hardly a warship, this is, right? I just want to see how these pack owns, um shape up. I mean, the ship has got... Let's look at the stats. I haven't got prismatics on it. Standard shields. Right. Um, 888. It's not what you call mind-bending, is it? Um, and my armour. My armour's all right. 1892. Not bad. Right, it's um get the escape vector and zoom out. Zoom a zoomers. And I'll be putting a full on um, how I did it I'll be putting on a full on how I did my pack hounds engineering and how I got pack hounds that'll be coming out in tomorrow's video um, so we'll see how well that does not many people seem to be watching elite dangerous videos lately I think as life is opening back up after the pandemic, um, we'll say after the pandemic, we're still very much in it. You know, I've not had my vaccine. Um, you know, people are starting to get out and about more, aren't they? That's the, that's the thing about it. Right, perhaps you should be able to get to this station now. Yeah, I know. I mean, 
If we look at the missiles anyway. Combat mode. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I got a thousand and... About a thousand and five missiles. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? But, you know, it's... You're not going to sustain yourself in a fight for, for very long with that. Um, good against one ship, but you're not no point going bounty hunting with it. It's more a case of, I think, with pack hounds, you're flying along, minding your own business, someone pulls you up a frame shift, and you go, ha ha, I have the pack hounds. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. See you later. Um... Oh, I've flown past the bloody thing. Now look at that. Here we go. I think having a ship with pack hounds is great if you're in a wing and it's for support. I reckon. Um, let me see, I've got them on this ship because I've got nowhere else to put them. I mean, putting them on a vulture... What's the point? You know, people are using Federation gunships and putting them on there because of all the, the class two slots. But pretty sure that's a surefire way to the rebuy screen. So here we are. A wire reflable. Request our docking. Going into pad zero two. Pad numero two. There it is. Cool. I'm stuck in the hole. Right, what are we doing here? Well, I'll explain. First off, I'm going to get my other modules sent down yet. Like my Guardian Frameshift Drive Extender thing. Right? We get that ship down yet. And I'm going to go out and I'm going to do a mission. A combat mission to see how long I last against something a bit tasty. If I last at all. Right? So, stored modules. Transfer to ship. Uh, let's put it there. Um... Got some cargo here, transfer that to my ship. Let's make a bit of space, put my cat collector limpet there. Oh, I've already got it there, no problem doing anything like that. Um, fuel tank, bleh, bleh, bleh. more cargo racks, transfer that to my ship. Now, I'm not turning this completely in. Guardian Frameshift Drive Booster Transfer to Ship. Yes, we'll put it in there. Thank you very much. So 
So I was on 39.14. Now I'm on 49.58. Uh, more cargo capacity. Um, transfer to that there. Transfer. Because it's my fuel scoop. Um, sell that. Frame shift drive interdictor. Prismatics. See a 6A prismatic. No. See I've used my 7s on my other ships. So I've got a fuel tank. Because this is, this is basically my jumper conda. Right. And where's my fighter bay nowhere planetary vehicle hangar do you know what where's my fighters fighter hangar let's have it fighter slot one browse that shop what am I going to have the condor two gimbaled beam oh, I don't want to go with the gimbaled pulse for God's sake that's just rubbish pulse plasma two fixed plasma big punching We'll go for the two gimbal beam on the condor. The condor! Buy that. Right, got all my stuff. Um, what can you put in there? Frame shift drive interdictor. Transfer that to my ship. Might as well. Um, utility mounts. So I've got heat sink in here. A couple of things I've kept in. I could make this a bit more stronger on the shield department. Um, transfer in. Well, look at that. I haven't got one, so I'll have to buy one. Nothing. Nothing that I could possibly want. Not even a point defence there, look. Chaff. There we are. Oh, I've already got one. Let's sell it. Well, I might as well put the old heat sink back in there then, don't I? Um, right, so I've got a module. I've got to set my... Um, I've got some scanners and all the rest of it. I could make this a bit tougher, but to be fair, can't be bothered. Um, into the livery section. Let's look at our condor. So I, I like putting the, the different colours on there. I don't know, I'm a bit of a tart like that. Have we got a paint job for it? Ooh, we have. That's not bad, is it? It's blue. That will keep my my crew, my Kira Carpenter all um all happy. Look at that. Dangerous. And 14% of dangerous too. Jesus Christ. She's nearly more deadly than I am. How much she had off me? 113 million. There's going to be a parting of the ways soon. Perhaps I'll get a novice in. Right. 
We're all refueled. We're all ready to go. Let's look at the mission board. This boom delivery of all this rubbish. Anyone to shoot? You're having a laugh. Ah, there we are. Look, takedown of a known pirate. There's him. That might be uh, a bit of a different, co difficult conversation. Yeah, well, we're going to have to go with takedown of known pirate for lame. Whew. Well, let's see, eh? Let's accept that mission. Drop our character graphics at the door in case we don't make it back. It's 284,000 credits there. Come on, confirm. Why can't I sell? Oh my god. Is everything on this game broken? Can I. S now you're all seeing this, aren't you? Well, I can't choose data. Right then, while I'm here, I am going to change my allegiance. I'm not going to buy any more pack hounds. I got pack hounds. Let's go into power play. Now, I'm aligned to him. Ooh, what do I want? What do I want? Who's got that funky... Is him in it? What's he got? Pledge. Three. Crytos Scrambler after four weeks. It's a burst laser. It's highly effective against you with no hull damage. <laughs> don't want that. I know you've done it, but I don't see the point of that. Um, Petraeus. What's he do? What's he got? Advanced Plasma Excel. Don't want that either. Um, is it him? The Enforcer Cannon. Nope. Oh, let's just go through them. It's, it's going to be... Is it, is it him? Preparation. What's he got? Pledge. Small beam lasers. Winters. Pulse Disruptor. No, don't want that either. I mean, I'll go around and do them all eventually, like, but, um, pledge. What about this hag haggard old person? Mining lands. That's the stuff. There you are. You'll be signed rating two with associated merits. So I'll get, ooh, that 50,000 credits. Um, yeah, wonderful. I fancy the mining lands. I do fancy those. So I'm defecting to her. Okay, there we are. We're in. I'm I'm assigned to Zemina Torval. Good old Zemina Torval. Uh, there she is. And um, I'm going for the mining lance. I've got 188 merits. That won't matter because I won't do anything with this until in four weeks' time I can then certify for getting that mining lance. That's what I'm going to do. Right, okay. So we've got someone to go and shoot, haven't we? Right, so let's go. Launch. The pirate flame. Flame, whatever she is. Right, there it is, there. Thank you, done. That's where we're going.
good. We're out. Fire groups. Right, let's see if we've got everything sorted out here. Um, all the weapons. Then we've got limpet controller. Well, I only want that once, don't I? Uh, kill warrant scout. Actually, yeah, the kill warrant scanner. I'll have there. So I can give him a good scanning. Um, frame shift wake. Manifest scanner. Data link scanner. Composition scanner. Uh, discovery scanner. Um, and then... I could do with a heat sink launcher. Frame shift drive into Dicta. Detailed surface scanner. And you know, I think that's it. Right. Let's go. Neutral power. Make sure our shields are all charged up. Skylar. Right. We're jumping. Let's see how these pack hounds do. Right, where's the uh, nav beacon? There it is. Clean kill bonus. Okay. Afternoon, Steve. How are you doing? So we're going we're to take these. That's going to be him, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be someone, in, someone involved with that. So Packhounds is the name of the game. Ah, yeah, you were saying, how is that going? Have you got all the floor up ready for the laminate? Right, let's scan that while we get all our... There they are. There's the pack hounds, everybody. Woohoo! Right. Let's see who we've got here. Someone's scanning me. Right. Oh, it's a Corvette. Look at this. And I'm in the wrong ship for all of that. That's why I need all the help I can get. So here we are. For lame. Yes, have it. Jesus Christ, the heat went up, didn't it? Look at that. We're in a right mess.
Jesus. Yeah, I don't think... Um, don't think these pack hounds... Stop throwing the tinsel out now. Come on. Stop being a silly man. Oh, I got his shields down. Oh, I got major male functions. Right, has he stopped with his tinsel? Well, yeah, let's take him out before he jumps away then. Well. Would you look at that? Um, no one's more surprised than me. To be perfectly honest. How, how did that happen? I really don't know how that happened after I... Other than I didn't cook myself. I am... I'm quite surprised. Let's, um... Fly back, see what we can pick up. Well, I was quite surprised. I mean, how much did I spend on missiles? How many missiles have I got left? I think I used about half of my missile contingent there. You know? Um... Any good? Good old pack hounds. Must look pretty impressive. I think I might go back get another mission. I mean... All that in an anaconda. Not bad, eh? So, I mean, I'm not entirely sure what the, the guns at the front were doing. Nothing much, I don't think. Because I have... Wherever they are. Where are the guns? So there's my pack hounds. There. These little things were doing nothing. And I haven't engineered them to do anything either. So it's a... Oh, one of the radios hanging off. Oh, no. Yeah, I've got a radiator hanging off. And, um... Who's this guy? Dave. Right in, Dave. Are you a naughty boy? Dave's a naughty boy, look. He's in a wing, is Dave. Let's get ourselves over to Dave. See if we can take Dave out. Yeah, Dave's got a couple of people with him. Making a right pain of himself is Dave. Right, there he is. Let's slow down. See if we can aim up quite nicely. 
Right, Where, where's Dave? There he is, there's Dave. Right. Are we ready? Woohoo! Bye, Dave. How did I not take him out? Well, oh, Dave's gone. Um, oh, we still got some credit. Who's this cheeky monkey? That's the fuzz. Well, let's let's go back and, and get another mission in and see if it wasn't a fluke. Um, let's bring the fighter back. There's my condor. Woohoo! Right, right then. So we took out a Corvette with pack hounds mostly. That's not bad. But it also means I've used a lot of missiles as opposed to, you know, doing multiple bounty hunting missions, say in the Corvette, with more conventional weapons. So they're good, but are they good for sort of like longevity in the game and staying in the fight? No, not really. Probably pretty good, you know. Where did I get this lot from? Uh, that one. I could armor up the anaconda a bit better. So there it is. Right, so interesting stuff. Would I use anacon uh, the anaconda with... Um, pack hounds as my number one bounty hunting ship no because i got my corvette would i use pack hounds in a slot on the corvette no what's the point of pack hounds other than looking pretty cool struggling to see the point there i really am struggling to see what you know um I think it's very good. Yeah, it. I mean, I could have put all pack hounds on there, right? Uh, but I needed some other conventional weaponry. Well, I've got a T10, and I've got five pa five five racks of pack hounds, and now I'm aligned with somebody else, so. I'm not going to go down the whole T10 build with that because that Type 10 is an absolute beast. In fact, now I've engineered up the Corvette, perhaps I should engineer up my Type 10. Because I've got all AX weapons on it. And I tend not to go, you know, Thargoid hunting. And like we were saying earlier on. Um, come on. Um, I said earlier on. There's probably going to be a civil war going on. With... Um, the Empire and the Federation. So this might be a new thing then. It's to do the engineering on my Type 10. I reckon that would be quite good. Because everyone uses the Corvette. Use the Type 10. 
Because perhaps the most underused ship probably in the game. But the biggest. Where's my carrier? <laughs> Right, um, can I land? Yes, I can. Pad 39. Pad 39. Who's this cheeky monkey and his challenger? Right, let's get down there. Down there, down there, down there, down there, down there. Yes, it'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Deploy landing gear. Have you been drinking? Oh, not really. Yes, I have. Um, right, drill. Starport services. Mission board. Take down that pirate. Ooh, it's tempting. 1.1 million. Thank you. Um, into contacts. Let's redeem all bounties. Bounties and fines. Great interstellar factors. Right, um... Did I? I didn't get the bounty. I did get the bounty. Okay. Um, right then. So. What's in the cargo hold, anybody? Nothing. Um, shipyard. What stored ships have I got you? My Storaconda is here. Which is good. Guardian Shield Reinforcement Package. Perhaps I should have this on that ship. I forgot I had it. Forgot that was down here. Okay, so let's let's just use this a second. Let's get that off here. Get it on there. Um, I really should be using that ship as as a storage ship, really. Cheers, Steve. Have a good one. So, um, into the outfitting. Optional internal modules. Ooh, we've got all this going on. Look. Um, we can sell that. I got loads of those. Um, we'll put that into storage. I will transfer that. I'll keep the six E shields. What shields have I got you? Uh, transfer options. Transfer in. A prismatic shield generator. Let's transfer that to that ship. Brill. It's taking me way over. Um, let's pop into core internal power plant. I've got a better power plant than that. I'm sure I have. Um, if not, I will get one.
See, multiple prospect Olympic controllers. What do I need that for? Sell. Anyway, what was I doing? Yes, uh, optional internal modules. Looking all the way down here. 5D fighter hanger. Well, um, let's sell that. Got a frame shift drive booster. Got a fuel scoop. All that. Blah, 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 blah. All the military compartments. Um, and a prismatic shield generator is stored there. Fab. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Let's transfer that and swap it down to that six compartment there. Done. Prismatics have caused a bit of a problem, however. Um, that 6E shield generator does allow me to fly the ship. It doesn't allow me to fly the ship. So let's sell it. We don't need it. Okay, brilliant. Um, right, let's get out of that into the other anaconda. Use this ship. And I'll take one of the cargo racks out and I'll put that guardian shield reinforcement in. That might be the way forward. Outfitting, optional internal, um, transfer options, store the fuel tank, and we'll transfer in the Guardian reinforcement package. Brill. Let's see what that's done to our ship. Oh, that's not bad, is it? That, that's bumped that right up. Um, quite considerably. Hey, not to worry. Right, so what were we going to do? We were going to go back in here um, into the mission board. Anyone to shoot? Yes, here's one. Look, take down another pirate lord in Ninabin. So 1.4 million, no problem. Except, let's see, uh, let's see how that goes with the pack hands, that is. I think going forward, what I'm going to do is for the next couple of weekend missions it's all gonna be about the type 10 the unloved underappreciated big old tank and i'm gonna start moving some stuff around making that a bit of a beast perhaps i'll put that guardian shield tank on this and perhaps i'll go um bounty hunting in it do some engineering like i've engineered up the corvette so christian chung is our mission where is he hanging out Oh, he's hanging out there in Ninabin. There we go. Right. Jump. So we got a full old um, load of pack hounds here, which is great. Uh, we've also got this Guardian Shield Booster on there as well. That certainly should help. 
all in this anaconda. And I may well sort of like engineer this anaconda up just to be my war anaconda. But without pack hounds and all the rest of it. So I need a bit of engineering on the front to bring the, um, the temperature down like. Right, where is the nav beacon? There it is. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Where is it? There. Right. Brill. Let's slow it down a minute. I just want to check something on my fire groups. Because I've got... I don't want the collect Olympic controller there. Kill warrant scanner. That's what I want. And we are looking for a pirate lord. Right there, Mr. Pirate Lord. Power to weapons. Here we go. We'll see if we can get some decent shots with um, the pack hounds being dispersed. If it's a nice big target, like a corvette or anaconda or something. Right. All right, there we are. There's our pack hounds. So I can't deploy my fighter because I left my crew at home. Ooh, what's this? Type 9 Heavy. Never get to take those out. Luke Weiler. Ward, the Federal Dropship. Harbinger. That's got to be someone up to no good, isn't it? No. All right. Um, well, let's jump back out. Then we've got what we wanted. Um, we've got nice full shields. Right, where's this person I've got to destroy? Here he is, threat two. Brilliant. And me without a fighter. Never mind. It's a little ways away. Oh, hang on, here we go. We're in it, we're on, we're on, we're in it. Uh, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? Let's submit. Who is it? Ooh, look at this. Is that it? A federal assault ship. We're going to hold off him, see if we can get a good scan as well. Scanned. Right in. Let's lay on him with the pack hounds. Yes. See you, dude. 
He's still going after that. Look at that. We haven't got much left in him. Pack hounds are after him. Are they going to get him? His shields are on light. I'm not, do, I, do I get him? Well, there's lots of debris. Oh, he's got a scan. Well, it just so happens... I've got a wake scanner. So we're going to chase the swine down. Like the dog that he is. Right, let's go. I never have a weak scanner. It's actually nice to use these things once in a while. You know what I mean? Okay. What have we got here then? Hang on. Have I destroyed him already? I have, haven't I? Apparently I haven't. Is that him? There he is. Right. Right then, matey peeps. That's you. I've got a... In I'm not going to need it, am I? Where's he buggered off to now? This is no good. Oh, is he back then? Oh, no, he's not. No one on the scope. Anywhere. We'll drop in there, see what the score is. Might be something tasty. You never know. It's only a Federation assault ship, so that's just ridiculous. It's looking for something a bit bigger. Right. Oh, there he is. Right, we're on. Is he going to turn? No, he's jumped again, isn't he? He's getting me to waste the missiles. Got quite a few materials he's left. Where's his wake? Right, where's he got? He's taking me on a flipping right old tour of the galaxy, isn't he? Right. Oh, he's gone back to, gone back there, is he? So I need more conventional weapons to start wearing him down. The pack hounds and they're doing, they're doing the job. They're doing a great job, but they're not doing it quick enough.
Right. Back to the nav beacon then. There he is. We're going to drop into the nav beacon. He's going to try and pull us out now. Who have we got? We've got a hauler. Well, all right, ah, isn't going to be him, is it? Havoc. Vi That's not him, is it? Unless he's changed ships. Right, here he is. There, right. Right, mate. We're after you now. Jesus Christ. What's going on here? I'm chasing this 1.4 million credit. He's gone back there. This is madness. This never would have happened in the Corvette. Mission related signal source. There he is. Let's go. No. Nope. I'm going to take him out. Get my engines running at full tilt when I get in there. There he is. Where's he gone? Yeah, catch you later. That honestly wasn't worth all the hassle. What are we picking up anyway? Oh, yeah, quite a bit. Well, there you have it, everybody. Packhounds. Great if you can catch him.
And that was by no means a fighting challenge. That was more a challenge of, can I catch him in the big ship that I've got? Yeah. You know. Um, hmm. Oh, well. Never mind. Uh, apparently, I've got all this stuff. I haven't got mechanical scrap. Why haven't you picked that up? There's stuff here I need to have. Shield emitters, got all that. Shields, yeah, got all that. Phase alloys, got all them. Filament, got, I've got it all, no. Right, let's get back to that. Um, that station. In Erubia. Jumping away. And get that handed in, I think. We're jumping. Where's the station that I want? There it is. So let's get in there, hand in this bounty, because it's like 1.4 million, even though it wasn't worth all that hassle. Okay, here we go. Right, let's close the gap, get in, land, hand the bounty in. Good stuff. And here we are. Right, this is the side I want. Press some docking, let's get in there.
Here we go. And get in. Pad 17. We're down, let's repair, rearm, starport services. Here we are. Okay, mission board. Take down that pirate. I have done so. Um, and I will have the money, please, because that was a right pain in the backside. Right, four, ship. What's my jump range? Brilliant. I'm going to get myself all the way back up now to... Um, where am I going? Sirius. That's where I'm going. S-I-R-I-U-S. That's where I need to go. 73 light years away. Two jumps. A good Sunday afternoon work of engineering at Packhounds, doing some rescue missions. But now I've got 48 million credits waiting up there for me after a community goal. And I want to pick that up from the spirit of Lelaps that we did last week with all the combat. That was a good community goal. And we're going to do some discovery scanning as we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're going. We're jumping. Back to Sirius. We're going to cash in 48 million credits for last week's community goal is in there. Made some money, I suppose, really, with the rescue missions. More humanitarian thing. But the main thing I've done this week is the pack hounds. And me. They are what they are, I suppose. I think I'll add them to a Type 10. Or at least have a bank of them on my Type 10. One more jump to the Sirius system. Oh, for God's sake. Rookie mistake, everybody. Look at that. I've hit the biggest purple planet around. Zabadak, how are you doing? Oh, well, that was silly, wasn't it? Unbelievable. I haven't done that for a while. Who's scanning me? System authority vessels. Oh, yeah, go on then. Scan me. Go on. I've got a ship full of pack hounds. Back in the game. <laughs> right. Yeah, we got some critical heat levels. Fortunately, I got a heat sink. Get ourselves a bit frostier. That's where I want to go. That's my escape vector.
right, I want to go there. Defector spotted. It's the adjuster, everybody. Who's he? Oh, he's got a python, is he? Oh, well, this might be quite interesting. See you later, mate. But if you try and stop me, I got pack hounds. They're all going to be after me in this space. <laughs> Tried to stay away, but you failed. Yeah, it happens like that. It's, it's a big rebound game. I tell you what, though. There's a great game, a sequel to a game that came out years ago called... Um, Spirit of Relapse, I want. Evil Genius 2. Now, years ago, there was Evil Genius 1, which was a very good game. I remember my son playing it when he was younger. And now the second one's being released on Steam. Looks brilliant. I made a purchase today in lieu of it at the end of the month, and I'll be doing that. Still playing Valheim as well. And of course, we've got what's going on with um, Odyssey on the 29th. So I'm going to be doing a lot of... So I'm going to be busy, right? I'm going to be well busy. So I have to work out how I can schedule streams um, from Streamlabs OBS into these so that everyone knows when I'm streaming. Because that's one of the problems I've got at the moment. For some reason, the scheduling of streaming is not working. I don't know why. But anyway, there you are. But Elite is, and I see it time and time again, it's a rebound game. You always come back to it. And the other day, someone was asking me, hey, you know, why don't you <laughs> take an extra game? I tell you what, look at, look at it on Steam. Evil Genius 2. It looks so much fun. Um, why, don't, why don't I play Star Citizen? Because I can't be bothered. I would not have a life. Um, especially with Subnautica coming out in May as well. So yeah, I got all that, all that to do. Well, I'm gonna do it. I just enjoy doing it. It's something to do, isn't it? Doing some scanning. Versus the spirit of laylapse is what I want. That's quite how they judge where that is. Is that yeah? That's before the planet. That's okay. Lots of ships floating around. Oh, he's a defector. He's a defector. He is. He's defected. He's taken our pack hounds and he's gone. Yes, I have taken your pack hounds. I've got five of them. And now I'm off uh, mining lasers in four weeks. Can I dock, please? Yes, I can. Pad one, where is it? JSB, hello mate, how are you doing? Well, I'm not going to get it on that, am I? Um, where's pad one gone? Pad one, pad one, pad one, pad one, pad one, pad one. Must be on the other side. Ah, there we are, pad one. So for those of you who have just joined us, did some pack hound engineering, did a few pack hound, I did a few missions, you know. Um, 
bounty hunting missions. They were all right. One was a bit of a pain in the backside, simply because... Um, he kept... Oh, he's going to Luton Stars, he? All right, there we go. Uh, right, Starport Suicide. Well, I'm here, right, to cash in on what happened last week. So, mission board, community goals. There you go, defence. What did I get? Top 50%. I earned 36 million credits, and I get 48 million credits. That's all right, isn't it? Mate, thank you very much. Prismatic Shields, yeah. Well, there's a video for that on the channel, dead easy. And there's one for the Packhounds coming out tomorrow. It's, um, I think it's all right, actually. I mean, the Packhounds, not what I expected. They're good, but the Prismatic Shields, I think, are better. Um... More bang for your buck. So if you look at the power play module, and you're doing power play now, so you're assigned, you're aligned to Ashling Deval, to work. If so, here's the thing. Um, and here's the good thing. Three weeks pledge to her, and then you get in there with something big, something that's got lots of cargo capacity. I use my Type 9, and that's got 752 tonnes worth of cargo capacity. You then go to preparation, right? Go down here and find something that needs preparation materials. Keep an eye on that. I typically go to the home planet of her, which you can see on the map, which is Cubio. And then transfer them to, say, Sif. Right? All in one go on the fourth week. And then make sure you've got loads of credits because those prismatic shields are expensive. They really are expensive. So it's worthwhile doing it. I'm doing. What am I doing? I'm doing. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not doing that. I'm doing this. Who am I pledged to these days? Her. Um, Zima Torval. Right? And. You get a weaponized mining lance. I thought, great, I can put them all over my cutter. That's going to be brilliant. So that's the plan. That is the plan. So, um, right then. Let's look at all this. Great. Now where am I going? I am now going to go... Do, 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 do. Let's look at the system map. I don't need anything from anybody there. Where's my carrier? Blair my fleet carrier, everybody. God knows where that is. I'll just bring it to me no matter where it is. Because um, what I tend to do is do some Type 10 engineering. It's all the way down there in Lem Beaver. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the, the fleet carrier up. Um, and I'm going to put it in. Hmm. Epsilon Arani. For carrier management. Epsilon Arani. Right then. Or shall I put it in Kun? Actually, weird. 
I'll put it there because I have to go there and do some engineering on these chain guns on the front of this. So let's go to the galaxy map. Weird. That's where we're going. Because in weird, I think, if I remember rightly, the engineer told the blasters there. Where is he? Todd the Blaster. No, he's not there. Who's in weird then? God. Bet you it's somebody who I don't need. Power distributors and, pa and pulse lasers. Hmm. The Dweller. Have I got my module? How, how engineered is that? All right, so it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll just pop there, do a bit of engineering on that, I think. Let's launch and get ourselves over there. Unfortunately, I bet you that tracks there isn't. Uh, <laughs> someone, someone saw, did a double take. I was watching some of the forums. Someone had named their carrier the Raxler Express or something. And he did a bit of a double take. Um... I'm going to have to get some Tilium as well. Ready for um, Odyssey. Because we're going to be bouncing around all over the place for that. I can see it happening. Plus there's the little old Hesperus thing that might be assigned or something to do with the Adamaster. That could well be something. It's a lovely blue planet, isn't it? Okay, where next? We're off to weird word. Word, is it word or weird? Wired, word, Why? whatever. We're going there, that's where we're going. Of course, everyone in our alliance space is going to be after me. Right, where do we want to go? We want to go all the way. Where is the engineer? There he is, Black Hide. Good old Black Hide, everybody. That's where we need to be. So I hope everyone's having a wonderful Sunday. It being Mother's Day and all that. These two planets really close together. I never come here. Uh, but this is this is quite something.
and I need something to make me a load of money. I need at least another billion. I need at least another billion quick. And I was just wondering exactly what it is I've got to do to get that. I need some scratch, if you know what I mean. In game, of course, like. There's Black Hide. We're going in. Just on the cusp of the dark side of the planet. We might be lucky to get it in the light. <clears throat> Oh no, not a conflict zone. What will we do? This will make a nice change. Go into another engineering base. At daytime. So here we go. Right, I'm going to be away from the keyboard temporarily. Two seconds.
And I'm back. So, um, oh, that's a long way away, isn't it? I'm sure we can do a bit better than that. Let's get a bit closer to the black hide. And let's take it down. Where is he? We're too steep. It's better than what it was. That's what you get from being disrupted and called away from the keyboard. I will get over there, no problem at all. There we are. Black hide, everybody. Nestled in that crater. Over there. So we've just gone past the three hour mark now of what we're doing. Whatever it is that's happening here today. I want to request docking denied. Why? Ah, because I'm not close enough. Now I'm okay. Zero eight, all the way down there in the pit, look. And this is nice, because for a change, We can go and have a look at what's going on in those domes. Look at that. Some sort of conveyor belt thing going on in there. Hydroponics. There's our landing pad. And then over here, trees and stuff. Look at that. Yeah, it's got to keep your trees. But then over here, different trees. Trees with flowers on, look. Little purple flowers. So, God knows what he's doing. Right, let's get the landing gear on. Let's get this on the deck. It would help if I didn't crash into the flipping docking port, mine, wouldn't it? And we're down. Starport services. And let's see we got your what we got your in engineers workshop. So power distributors. We haven't unlocked it all. Select. Uh, it's an old module I got, a legacy mod. Let's convert that. Um, high charge capacity power distributor. Okay. What's that do? We get more power, but yeah, keep going with that. Always need more power. I 
And then finally, I haven't got any military, I've never got any military supercapacitors. So what experimental effect do I get here? Cluster capacitors. Additional capacitor arrays allows the power distributor to store more energy at the cost of slower charging. Mm. Super conduits. Oversized conduits increase the power charge rate at the cost of reduced maximum charge. Well, what's the point of that? Flow control. Advanced software into okay, any more efficiently reducing module power draw. Mm. Okay. Double braced and stripped down. Flow control, cluster or super conduits. I think perhaps it's that. That's what I'm getting. Um, so I've pinned that. Beam lasers. Overcharged weapon. Browse all. What else does he do? He does pulse lasers as well. Look. Um, not bad, eh? Not bad at all. Where next? Well, I've done some engineering. The carrier's going to be around shortly. Um, and that sets us up nicely for what's going to be happening next week on next week's stream. Because the carrier is going to turn up. That's carrying my Type 10. <laughs> I has the power. You're right, mate. Um, I bex the goat. Happy Sunday to you. Unfortunately, fellas, you're all coming towards the end of the stream. Um, it's half past six. I've been talking myself hoarse now uh, till ten, for three hours, ten minutes. What we did in this stream, did a couple of missions, looked at the many on the rescue missions. We did rescue missions in regards to um, how much money do you make just hauling people, right? And taking them for their money. How much money do you make just hauling people and taking them for the best materials? Like, you know, data and all that sort of stuff that you can get, which is very lucrative. Then it was how much money do you make if you also pick up the materials that you can collect uh, that's floating around inside the station. So we did that. We then went to... Um, Eurebia and engineered some Packhound missile, missiles. We then took the Packhound missiles and then what we did is we went and did a couple of missions with the Packhound missiles uh, as a result of which then found out they are effective against big ships in a big ship. You've, I think you've got to have other weapons like on the Anaconda with them. I mean, and I've got five banks of Packhounds on this. So then we went from there and I picked up Mighty Yagu. I then went and picked up the reward from the Spirit of Lapse. Got 48 million for last week's um, stuff. Community goals. And now I'm here engineering my power distributor and I've just pinned that nicely to, um, to my remote engineering. Now... Has the carrier turned up yet? Probably doesn't look like. But you never know. There it is. Let's check it out. Because I want to start doing some engineering on the Type 10. Um, moving some weapon systems around and perhaps using that as an alternative to the anaconda you know Right, we've broken the planet. 
off to our escape vector. Our escape vector vector. So tomorrow's um, video that I normally schedule every Monday, I try and do get an elite video, dangerous video out. Um, that is going to be all about unlocking pack hounds. Okay, that's what all that's about. Pack hound unlocking. So make sure you have a look at that. I'm not sure what time it's going live. Let me check. It will be going live tomorrow. So make sure you've got those notification bells turned on, everybody on the on the, the stream. Uh, it is scheduled for tomorrow at... Dun, dun, dun. Half past four GMT. I'm not going to do a premiere for this because it's only seven minutes. Um... And even I know, you know, limitations for that as well. A lot of people back in school tomorrow. My, one of my kids is back in school tomorrow, um, which is interesting. Because I'm not sure he wants to go back, to be perfectly honest. And I don't blame him. So here is the carrier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start offloading some um, some of the weapons and some of the stuff on this, uh, and putting it into the Type Ten because I haven't I've bought the Type Ten ages ago when it came out, and I don't think I've really given it a good crack of the whip. You know, some people think they're absolutely fantastic, and as a weapons platform, it is brill. But it's going to have to be in pure support of what's happening with. Um, you know, with what's happening with the carrier. Plus, I'm also going to put out a call from the carrier as well um, for tritium. I need to buy tritium. So if any of you tritium dealers have got tritium, you want to come and give a fair price at the carrier, you just let me know. Let's request the dock in. Pad five, that's going to be us. Problem with this is that it's absolutely no good at stopping, is it? You know? I mean, I crash into it and that stops me. Here we go. Look, oh, terrible ship for flying. Although, you know, it's more maneuverable than the Corvette. Yeah, you can you lock and scam me all you like. It's my bloody carrier. Carrier services. So let's take a look at the shipyard. 14 store, ships uh, stored here. Um, that's me type 9. All the way down there, which I'd used for... Doing the pack hounds. Where's the type 10? There it is. Well, that's 20... That's bloody miles away. Beta Circhini. Oh, where's that bit? Beta Circhini. It's all the way over there, look at that. 115 light years. Don't know what it was doing over there. Um, but I think it might be worthwhile bringing it to me. Transfer that ship over here. Type 10 Defender. Transfer it over. Transfer. Confirm. Money to burn, see, fellas. Money to burn. Um, so there it is. 
all AX missions, Guardian Shard Cannons, all the rest of it. Nothing really outstanding though, is it? Huh? Nothing really outstanding. Um, it needs work. That ship does. It needs a lot of work. It's a lot of love and um, and attention. I think we rip the AX missiles out. Rip the cannon out. And find a really good build for a Type 10. And that's what I'm going to be doing next week on next week's stream. So there you have it. So I need in my commodities market... I need to buy Turritium. Um, how are your management? Commodity trading, manage my market. Tritium, I will buy Tritium. I will buy your tritium. Right? Is that a good price? It's a little bit below average. Um, there you go. I will buy your tritium. Seems fair enough, doesn't it? Brilliant. Okay, right then. So my crew lounge, I've got to make sure I'm going to set them active as well when we get there. My tritium depot is looking a little bit light in the old tritium department, but there you have it. Anyway, everybody, thanks for joining. If you've joined a little bit late, hey, watch the rerun. Start off with all the rescue missions, then we do some pack hounds, and then eventually get to where we are. Next week, like I say, tomorrow I've got a video on how I got my pack hounds. Um, about a seven minute video that will come on at 4.30 GMT tomorrow. Make sure you've got your notifications set for that so you don't miss when that comes out. I've uh, got a few um, Valheim videos as well scheduled in. That game's really accelerating. I really can't um, let it go, to be honest, at the moment. I think it's really good. I can't stop playing it. Um, it's getting quite addictive. And then, you know, we'll see what frontier comes out as well in regards to uh, what's happening with this war between the Federation and what's happening with uh, between the Federation and the Imperials. Is there going to be a civil war? What do you think? Let me know in the comments of the video. So thanks very much for watching. Um, see you next week and look out for the videos throughout the week, everybody. I've enjoyed your company. Hope you've enjoyed the stream and I'll see you soon.